my name is Sarah and my service dog Bailey is actually taking a nap right now. Um, but we are going to be taking a five hour flight to go home for winter break. And so I just wanted to tell you guys what we're bringing on the flight in my carry on and what she's going to be wearing. So the first thing that we're going to be bringing is Bailey's river dog gear vest. This one is gray. Um, and it has some things in the pockets that help us out and some poop bags, which is helpful. Um, and also we have clipped to it an Outward Hound portable bowl, which works pretty well for us. So we're probably going to be taking Bailey's vest off for security just because then they don't have to go through the pockets or anything like that. Um, so while we're going through security, she will still have her martingale collar on. The shape of her neck kind of requires us to use a martingale, so um, that's why we use that. And I will be using my hands-free Kong leash. Um, I did do a review on this. I'll put the link to that in the description down below. Next thing we're going to be bringing is Bailey's e-collar. I am planning to keep this on for TSA. Um, I'll let you know how that goes. Um, but this is her e-collar and um, the remote for it. Um, this is an e-collar technologies ET300. It's what we got from our trainer and um, what we use daily. So she'll be wearing this. So that's everything that Bailey is going to be wearing, but I'm also going to be keeping the e-collar charger on me in my carry-on um, just in case something happens and our flight is delayed or canceled and we're stuck in the airport and I need to charge it. Um, it charges really fast and this is a just in case because the charges last for a pretty long time. I'm also going to be bringing a folder of Bailey's information. Um, psychiatric service animals, unfortunately, under the Air Carrier Access Act um, are treated the same way as emotional support animals, so they can ask for a letter from my healthcare provider. Um, it's very silly, and if that bugs you like it bugs me, then you should contact your representative um, to change that. But this folder has a letter from my doctor, and it also has um, some of her vet records, just in case I'm in a situation where I need to provide those, but legally they can't ask for them. Um, and I also have a copy of those in my backpack in a separate location, um, just in case one of them gets wet or ruined, I have backup copies. And I also have a copy of those documents on my phone if I need to pull it up immediately. So I am bringing Bailey's plain treat bag. Um, these are the only treats and snacks she'll get on the plane to make sure she doesn't need to go potty. It is a mixture of Vetra Science's composure, um, which helps calm them down and um, get rid of any anxiety that the service animal might have, which she's flown several times, so I doubt she'll be really anxious, um, but just in case I have some in there. There's a few of Zook's mini naturals. Um, this is a salmon recipe. Bailey loves these and she will go crazy for them. Um, so I have a few of those in there just to keep her happy and occupied or if we wanna do some training in the airport. I also have a little bit of kibble in there um, for if we wanna do a longer training session or do multiple things or if she seems like um, she's really hungry during the flight or if I wanna just give her a treat because she's doing well. Um, I do have those in there. This just keeps me prepared. Um, I don't think I'll use all of these treats because I do want um, to keep her fasting for most of the day um, so that she doesn't need to go and have like an uncomfortable um, full bladder or anything like that. But um, I will have these for if we're doing training sessions or just to keep her happy. I also have two meals for worth of food that is going to be in my backpack, which is my carry-on. This is just in case something happens and I'm stuck in the airport and the rest of my luggage is checked. So these are emergency. I'm also bringing Bailey's metal bowl. Um, it fits easier in my backpack than it does in my suitcase because of the shape of it. And I can just put the um, extra food in there while it's in my backpack so it doesn't take up any extra space. Um, I'm taking this just in case I want to feed her as soon as we land or um, if she wants to drink some water after we land. She does prefer drinking out of this to her fabric bowl. Um, I think it tastes better or something like that. So I'm bringing this. And I am also bringing Bailey's blanket. Um, this is the blanket that she uses at school with me. Um, it is full with her scent and my scent. 
and the scent of our dorm. And so um, this is to make her more comfortable on the plane. And also when we are at my home um, after the flight, in case she's not um, comfortable with that because she doesn't remember it well or something like that, this is to help her get acclimated. So that's everything we're bringing in my carry-on or on Bailey herself um, for our flight. The flight is only five hours, so um, we don't really need too much, but um, this is what we need actually on the plane or just in case something happens. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any feedback or comments or suggestions, please put them in the comments down below and please subscribe for more videos. Thanks.